Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Becca West and today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 questions that you should not ask a Bahamian. So let's get into the video. So as some of you may know, I recently moved from the Bahamas to the USA. I was born and raised in the Bahamas. I lived there my whole life up until a few months ago. So I moved to the USA for work and since I've moved here, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Bahamas and I realized that a lot of the questions are just due to ignorance, like just not having the knowledge and a lot of the questions can become very annoying and sometimes it can be condescending and sometimes it can just be outright rude. So I figure I should make this video to let the world know a few questions that you should not ask a Bahamian because it can be it can come off very offensive. So question number one that you should not ask a Bahamian is the Bahamas a real country? Oh my goodness. Yes. It is a country. It is a country made up of several islands. No, it's not a part of Florida. No, it's not a part of any other Caribbean country. We are an independent country and we have been an independent country since 1973, 242 to the world. But yeah, we are a country and this, this question really aggravates me a lot. I'm like, sis, what do you mean? The, if the Bahamas is a real country. But yeah, we are a real country. I don't know why a lot of people don't know this or assume that the Bahamas is just like a part of another country that people go to for a vacation, I don't know. But yes, the Bahamas is a real country. Do not ask a Bahamian if the Bahamas is a real country. That's not a nice question. Question number two, do you live in a shack? I bet you live in one of those little hut things, don't you? First of all, Brenda, I live in a regular house, probably just like yours. So since I've moved here, I've gotten a lot of questions about what kind of home I live in and people usually outrightly ask if I live in a hut or a shack or they just allude to that if they're not sure. But I find that a little bit offensive. I don't know. I guess, I mean, I can understand why people feel... I can... Uh, Regal just sneezed in the middle of my video, guys. I mean, I can understand why people would think that because of what's, I guess, advertised on the media and social media about the Bahamas. When you Google the Bahamas, you see these little straw huts and stuff like that. But we have regular stone and wooden houses just like you would find in the usa our infrastructure may be a little bit different depending on like the climate somebody lives in versus where we live do not ask a bohemian if they live in a hut or a straw house or whatever you think you see on social media or in the media in general we live in regular houses question number three do you work on the beach? Do you live on the beach? I bet you go to the beach every day. It must be nice to wake up on the beach every day. Oh my gosh, I bet you go to the beach every day. Is the beach at your back door? Oh my gosh. Now, as a Bahamian, I can say I absolutely love the beach. I wish I lived on the beach. And you actually have some people that have beaches in their bar backyards. But we do not live, we do not all live on the vast majority of population do not live on a beach, do not work on a beach. Definitely don't go to the beach every day. I go to work every day back home. Seriously, I go to work every day. Um yeah, but that don't ask us that because I'm like, no, surely we don't go to the beach every day. Please don't ask me that. But I wish, I wish, but no. Question number four. You 
have an accent. I bet you're from Trinidad. I bet you're from Barbados. You, you, where's your accent from? Are you from Barbados? Are you Bayesian? I bet you're from Jamaica. Are you Trinidadian? First of all, never, ever, ever ask a Bahamian if they are from someplace else. We have so much Bahamian pride and we love our country and we love being Bahamian. So when somebody confuses us for someone else or another nationality, we check you real quick because sis, I'm a Bahamian. Don't get it twisted. Question number five. Do you have to take a boat to work? Or do you guys ride around in horses back home? Or do you take a horse to work? Now, this this doesn't completely upset me because I realize that, again, what's advertised in the media to sell the Bahamas to tourists, because tourism is one of our biggest money-making industry, and so I realize what's out there, but no, we do not take horse or boats to get where we have to go, and we do not walk everywhere. Which brings me to question number six. And I get asked this question, I think, almost on a daily basis. Do you guys have cars? Yes. Yes, we do have cars. We have cars. We get around in cars. So we don't take horses. We don't take dolphins. We don't take boats to get where we have to go. Unless you live on another key, of course, you take a boat, but we have cars. Question number seven. Oh, you're from the Bahamas. So I bet you know Jane Doe. Is Jane Doe your neighbor? I bet you know John Doe. So people automatically assume that once you're from the Bahamas, you must know another person that's from the Bahamas because we are such a small place and everybody knows everyone. It's not like that. No. So yeah, do not assume that because I'm from the Bahamas, I know somebody else is from the Bahamas. Question number eight. So do you guys just walk around and pick fruit off of trees and eat them? That must be really fun. Okay, so, no, this is not a thing. I know, as a child, we had a lot of, we had a lot of fruit trees in my, in my yard, in my home. We had two mango trees, an avocado tree, passion fruit vine, sea grape tree. We had two sour trees. I just learned a couple weeks ago that people call them sour oranges, but back home, at least the people that I grew up around, we just called them sour, sour trees. We had a cherry tree. Um... So you get the point. We had a lot of native fruits that grow around, but walking around and picking fruits to eat them as the day go on is not a thing. It is not a thing. Okay. Question number nine. Do you go fishing every day? Once again, this is not a thing. I don't know. A lot of people assume that because we live in an, on an, in a country or we live on an island that we go fishing every day. Now, mind you, that's what we say back home, mind you. Now, mind you, I love myself some seafood. Oh my goodness, I love fish, I love shrimp, I love conch, everything. Just give me all the seafood, I love it. But no, we do not go fishing every day. We go to work just like you. Question number 10. What's conch? Do you eat conch every day? See, this one annoys me the most. First of all, surely it's conch. Let's start there. And if I could eat conch every day, I would. It's the best thing you will ever taste in your whole life. 
Bahamians love seafood and we love, we absolutely love conch. It's one of, it's a delicacy for us and we love it. But don't you dare call conch conch. And when you eat conch, you better look like you love it. You better look like it's the best thing you've ever tasted. Do not insult us about our conch. We love conch. So that's it for this video. I just did 10 questions on what not to ask a Bahamian. And I, I hope this helps someone, especially people who have never visited the Bahamas before and who have never met a Bahamian. Because since I've moved here, I've had several people told me that I was the first Bahamian that they've ever met in their whole life. And that they did not know that people actually live on the Bahamas. So a lot of people just assume that the Bahamas is just a vacation destination that is a part of another country. So they, they think so they think that people just go to the Bahamas for vacation and then leave. But they don't think that people actually live there. They know people work there, but they don't think that people live there. And I'm like, first of all, hunty, let me tell you something about my country. See, I'm getting upset already. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Bye guys! Do you have a car? Do you guys drive cars? What would you need a car for in the Bahamas? I didn't know that you have cars. That's interesting. Oh, you guys have cars. Oh my gosh, you guys have cars in the Bahamas? Do you guys have cars? What's the reason for a car? Psst. She's from the Bahamas. I bet she takes a horse.